Welcome back everybody, it's Joe again from Acklam Car Centre and you're watching another episode of On The Road with Acklam Car Centre. And today I am in the amazing Rolls Royce Ghost Series 2 on a 2016 16 registration with only 22,000 miles on. In a beautiful colour combination, on the exterior you've got the diamond black with that beautiful silver satin midsection of the bonnet. And then the interior for me works extremely well because this has a two-tone seashell and black leather interior. Now this is a very special car, like I said, only 22,000 miles. Now remember the Rolls-Royce Ghost like this one, the Series 2, is a facelifted version so there's a lot of nice neat features on it which I'll go through with you. But for me it's what it delivers. This is a hand-built, super luxury vehicle. I mean it's super comfortable, it oozes quality from every single angle and it's what it delivers. It has power, it's a 6.6 .6 litre V12 engine, which again is, it's effortless, 8-speed gearbox, but you've got 593 brake horsepower, you've got 0 to 16, 4.9 seconds, but for me, at the end of the day, it's a Rolls Royce, it's got the power when it needs it, but it doesn't need to be driven in that manner, it's just there when you need it. Now with any Rolls Royce, it's like anything, the spec list goes on for miles, and you can literally add so much to them. Now this particular one does have a huge, I mean a humongous specification and I will try and touch on as much as possible and tell you about the way this car drives. Now if you're in the market for a Rolls Royce and you're wanting one this sort of price bracket, this sort of age and mileage, then it doesn't get much better. Because with Rolls Royce it's all about the specification, the way it's been looked after, but most importantly the spec. And like I said this one has all that, everything. This is for me the ideal Rolls Royce Ghost in this range. Now going from the exterior, you'll notice right away from the front, you've got that beautiful pop-up spirit of ecstasy which comes out the bonnet, which looks amazing. When you're looking and driving, you see straight through it and that for me is just a statement. That humongous aluminium grille, it's massive, it's huge. Again, another statement thing. But then you look at the headlights. Now, this is the facelift version, so you'll see that you have the daytime running lights, but it's what they call the infinity of LED really, so it goes all the way around the edge of the headlights so the LED daytime one like continues all the way around and you have full LED headlights as well. You've then got the top view camera system so that's front camera, side cameras and rear camera. Front rear parking sensors, obviously all the colour coded bumpers but then you have all that chrome section including that middle strip down the bonnet. The car sits pretty high off the road, it's a big car but when you're driving it it doesn't feel big, it just feels comfortable. As you come around to the side of the car, you'll see that this one is fitted with the 21 inch seven spoke alloy wheels, which are diamond cut and gloss black, which again look phenomenal. On the Rolls Royce Ghost, you have got a range of wheels you can choose. I do think this is, for me, the most popular and I would recommend this design wheel because it just looks sporty, but classy at the same time. And that's very important because with the Rolls Royce, it's all about class and class leading and luxury. But you also want to look easy on the eye and you want to to go wow and this does that very very well. You then notice all the Rolls Royce badging all the way around the vehicle but going back to the wheel you'll notice on the centre cap you have that floating uh, uh, so when the wheels are turning the centre cap doesn't it says static which is brilliant nice little feature. You then got the chrome surroundings around the, around the windows around the door handles but for me I call it a a showcase feature and I think it makes all the difference and that's what Rolls Royce is all about for me, the little things. You've got the coach design doors on this one, so you've got the, the rear hinge doors, so the front doors open as normal, but the rear doors open out over, so it just, the presence of it is, is brilliant. And access to get in and out makes it so much more simple as well. You've then got the umbrellas on the passenger door and the driver's door built inside the door. You press it, it pops out. For them days that we do get a bit of rain, you've got yourself a, a beautiful, well-made umbrella. As you then go to the back of the car, you'll see that little slope coming through on that seat pillow, and it's got a great silhouette to it, brilliant. Come out round to the back of the car, the LED lighting system, you've then got the chrome exhaust tailpipes, and the chrome section to the rear boot lid, where again, the Rolls Royce badges, and just underneath that, you can press it to release the boot, or press the key. You've then got a huge boot space, because Rolls Royce, you're probably gonna carry a couple of luggages, or shopping or push chairs, whatever it might be, but it's certainly a practical, a very good sized boot. 
Now what you'll find with a Rolls Royce is all of the car is a big car. When you're driving it, like I said, it doesn't feel big. It's just a very smooth car. One of the best built cars in the world. When I said world class and world leading, I mean it. There's nothing unsure or average about the Rolls Royce. They drive superb. I'm driving this car right now, I don't feel a thing. I know for a fact the wheels are bouncing around because the technology that is being used on this vehicle, the wheels are constantly moving. But the body stays static, the body just stays straight and you don't feel a thing. Absolutely not. With Rolls Royce, what I find is someone who's gonna buy this car probably travels in business class or first class and everything about this car is first class. Everything from the ride from the quality of the leather that is used or just the materials around the vehicle is is unbelievable it's got a great sound to the engine because it's a v12 engine but as you walk into the driver's seat now you get a bundle of extras first of all going back to that seashell and the black two-tone leather interior so if you look at the dashboard that is all black the air pillar is all is that in the seashell same as the roof lining, but then your B-pillar is in black. But then you've got on this one the panoramic glass roof, which is a big thing, and that's tilt and slide as well. A massive extra for me is the comfort seat package, which gives you the heated seats, the ventilated seats, but then it also gives you massaging seats, and that's both for the front driver and passenger and the rear passengers as well. Just looking onto the rear passenger seats, if you look at the two seats on each end, You'll notice, like a business class or a first class seat in a, on your journey on the, in the air, the, the turned ever so slightly. And that's quite interesting, really, because Rolls Royce want their passengers to be turned ever so slightly so they're talking at an angle and they're not facing each other, but they're not just forward on. There's this small little tilt, you can just see it. But then you have that midsection in the rear armrest which controls all the seats, the heating system, everything's just there. But then to the finish as well, you've got a lovely Van Veneer finish on the interior inlays, the Rolls Royce clock. Obviously things like front and rear heated windscreen, navigation, Bluetooth, DB digital radio, all that is just there at your fingertips and very easy to use. A couple of things they've used which I think is just easy to, to handle is things like the climate control and the heating is just, you literally flick from blue to red and soft, medium, high. I even love the words they've used soft, medium, high and max. It's really clever and it's just easy words. Stop start button is just there. This car then has heads up display, another extra, which shows you how fast you should be going, how fast you are going, navigation details, Bluetooth details and, and the rest of it. The, the things that you fully expect, are my headlights, are my window wipers, you have all that as well. I just genuinely think this is a, a superb car the height of luxury, you don't feel a thing, it's very, very smooth. You can go around corners, it handles extremely well. Bear in mind, it's a very heavy car and a very big car, but it handles very well. This does everything, it's unbelievable how well and modern and up-to-date this car looks. It's a 2016, but it looks and feels like a new car, mainly because the car's doing very little miles. Now, like I said before, it's not a car that you need to go bombing about in, it's a Rolls Royce. But the best part about the gearbox talking to the navigation and putting in optimum gears, like it always does, is to keep power in reserve. So for now, for example, if I want to put my foot down, I do, and it'll react, it'll just, it'll lift and it goes. The zero delay. The gear change is immense. You don't even know it's changing gears at any speed because it's absolutely effortless. This is a very exciting car. This is a luxurious, smooth, very comfortable, full of specification. I mean, if you look at the seats, they're super comfortable. I mean, you, I know I could do a journey for 300 miles and get out of it and feel completely fresh like I've done 30 miles. The steering wheel, nice, just in your hands. You know you're sat in a Rolls Royce straight away. This one then has little detailing like the RR logo, embroidered onto the headrests, all of them. Just is phenomenal. All the metallic finishing. Now remember this one's also got the Rolls Royce bespoke audio system and that really makes a difference as well. If you like your music, irrelevant of what car you're in, you want that and that, that really does. It's a game changer. Remember this is hand built. 
they are very special. I actually think there isn't two Rolls Royces that are alike because they're all built completely differently. It might be the smallest difference, but they are different. Could be the stitching, could be the wheels, could be the bodywork, the paint, the bonnet, something small. So it's a very unique car on its own. But as for drive, well, it doesn't get much better. There isn't many cars out there that drive better than a Rolls Royce. There isn't, that's what I think. And um, I'm yet to be proven wrong, because this is a fabulous car. I don't know what else you can compare it to. I mean, I quite like the Mulsanne. I think they're a cracking car, but it's not quite a Rolls Royce. It's a very really recognised brand for a reason, because of what they do. And that's the best at what they do. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.